Hello everyone, I'm Jin and you can call me Ken. Welcome back to RPG Maker Chrono Engine Tutorial ABS Mode Part 8. This time I'm going to show you this. It was a skill. It's quite cool, right? Okay, let's just wait a little. Okay, and... This is a skill I'm going to show you today. And as you can see, there will be some random shoots around the player. And how to do this? Then let's just check this out. Okay, first let's just look at the tool map. And this is the skill I just use. I just use the tool 7. And let's have a look. And. Um, this is the skill, and it was skill ID 5, and the duration was 90, the post durations, and blah 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 blah. And this one is new for today. Well, you can see the action times. Well, this means these, these actions, this action will trigger 40 times, and between each times it will be 20 frames so it will shoot something and then wait for 20 frames and then shoot something and wait for 20 frames and shoot something and it will shoot 40 times and then this one is new as well and this is tool shake well that means if if the attack shoots something, then the screen will shake. The screen will shake. And then later it was this one. It means ignore shield. Well, when the player used the skill, it doesn't matter. But if your enemy used this skill, it could ignore your shield. So it's of no use for you to use the shield to defense this attack. And then this is just the animations shown every time the shoot. And then now it was the root. This time the root was really, 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 really important. Because this time we use this script. This script means. Well, let, let's just first take a look at this. It was teleport random. I think it was quite simple. So it will randomly teleport your shoot and to where? This 5 means it will in an area of 5. And I'll show you maybe just right here, okay? If this is your character, your character is just right standing right here. And you count five, one, two, three, four, five, and then also the left one, two, three, four, five, and also the top of that is, I can't get it. So you'll be an eleven times eleven square, and that means this shoot will be randomly teleport to anywhere inside this 11 times 11 square so we could have this kind of effect you just saw and then it was the set move speed well because I want the attack to be really fast so I set the move speed to 7 and why using it was quite simple because let's just take a look at the change speed and as you can see the fattest one was 6 so with this script you could have the speed faster than default and then I just want the shoot to go forward so just one step forward it was just like arrow and fireball and when you shoot something you don't want any other things to block the way so just make it through and make the priority to above the character then let's just take a look at the database 
Well, I just named this random shoot. I just name it random shoot. And just remember to have the attack, to have the damage right over here. And remember like 2 ID, this time it was 2 ID 7, this one, it was 7. And then that's it. And after you saw the skill, I'm going to show you something else about enemy. Well, this time I'm going to use this enemy. And this is the enemy ID 4, actually this doesn't even really important. Just giving a new enemy. And what I want today it was the root. And I've already set the root right over here. This time our enemy will just first it'll just move backward and then I improve the speed of the enemy and then it will suddenly move to the target. And this target it will just move to our player and then there will be something right over here and that means minus four zero that means it will just move to the player and on the player's left and the distance was four and then I'll just turn right and set the move speed back and then just attack using the random shot I just create and then again it just move random and then backward and this time I just make it to the bottom of the player so it was 0-4 at here and then you go to 4-0 that means on the right of the player and then finally we'll go to top of the player so my enemy will just like move in random and then go to the left of the player and move random and go to the bottom of the player and move random and go to the right of the player and then move random and go to the top of the player and that's for the enemy so let's check this enemy again to see if I just ignore something okay I guess it's okay now let's finally take a look at the database about the enemy today and it doesn't matter because I just want the HP but I'm not going to show you this because I'm not going to attack the enemy I'm going to that my player being attacked so we can see the effect now let's go into the game and let's check this out okay as you can see just move random and go to my left and then start to shoot me okay this is really hurt so let's just move away and then later the enemy will just move to my bottom and the speed will be really really fast just like this so let's just escape and then wait for this dangerous random shot to finish then just move random and go to my right Well, I really think this skill is amazing. Okay, and the last step, go to my top. Oh, this is really hurt. Okay, and this is the end of this tutorial. If you like it, please subscribe or thumbs up. Thank you very much.